Hey everyone, it's Stephanie from Scrap and Create, and I'm going to share the latest collections from Stamparia. We just received these, so I want to walk through and show you the pages and let you know kind of what comes in these collections. So this is called Stamparia Sunflower Art, and I really like it. I love sunflowers in general, so anything with sunflowers in the collection is high on my list. Um, the colors look kind of fallish, so I, I like that as well. Could be summer, summer, fall. Oh, how pretty. We've got these uh, little cut aparts here. This is on the back side of the cover. This is really pretty. Wisteria, some lemons. Nice. This is going to look good both in mini albums and 12 by 12 layouts. This would make a very nice cover to your album or sort of an introduction to this section in your album. Um, comes in the 10 sheet 12 by 12 or the 10 sheet eight by eight pack. Nice patchwork, those make for great backgrounds. Ooh, that's really pretty. You can see you know, cascading some pictures here. I love stripes. They really break up the collection um, when you're doing a, a layered look. It's nice, lots, lots of uh, paint easels and palettes. Pretty. Very nice. Great, um, great card toppers. That's super cute. <clears throat> Okay, we've got some tags. So these are double-sided card toppers or journal cards or photo mats. And lots of cut-aparts. So you could do lots of fun dimensional projects with these cut-aparts for your cards or your albums. So that is the uh, 12 by 12 10 sheet collection pack. So again, it comes in 12 by 12 and eight by eight. Next, I am going to share the um, chipboard die cuts. And I have to kind of search through these because they're all a little bit different. I think this is it. Yeah, so there, here's the chipboard die cuts. Let me set this aside. And I never tell you how many are in here, but I have yet to use an entire pack of their die cuts. They really load you up. I think once you get your photos into your album, to go back and add some more dimension is easier. But as you can see, there's a lot. I bet there's 50, around 50 chipboard pieces, which is quite a bit for 10 sheets of paper. So um, I'm just double checking to make sure it's not written here. No, it's not. So quite a few. Um, you've got horses, you've got florals, um, some of the art pieces butterflies, a little bit of everything. This um, collection comes with this new um, A6 rice paper. So this is a new size for them. Um, this one comes with these eight sheets inside, which is kind of interesting. Um, one of the things I was thinking about earlier um, with the rice paper, um, particularly with Christmas coming up and whatnot, is to cover some decorative boxes in coordinating rice papers and stack them so you could put nuts and cookies and, and various things in these boxes and they would be quite giftable and reusable later because they're so pretty. Anyways, that is, and I'll bring that up a little bit closer, those are the contents of this collection pack. And I'm going to show those to you in the larger format. So in the larger format, same is it? No, they're different pictures. So it comes in this um, A4 size. You get these elements, and I've got individual ones here to show you. So you can buy them as a pack, or you can buy them individually. This comes in indiv uh, pack only. So I can set that aside and set that aside. So here it are the horses. I know it's a little hard to see, but this the rice paper is really hard to manage. Um, once you get it out of the sleeve. So I'm going to hold off on taking these out. So I could see these um, as stacked decorative boxes. Um, 
that you could display in your bookcase or make them giftable. Very fun. You could do a smaller box with just the truck, a square box with, you could split this into, into two images. This is nice. This is very pretty. I like this. It's up my alley. I think I would get rid of some of the brick on the top. But it would depend on the size box I was trying to cover. And this is the last one. And this is actually kind of nice because it could become the base of all your boxes. And that's one of the ways you could pull the design together is to have a common base and make the tops different. Okay, so those are the rice papers in the A4 size. Okay, we talked about the die cuts. In addition to the die cuts, there's two ephemera packs. One is with the poppies and the other is just more generic. So it's got um, trucks, animals, um, the storefront, and this one is has got some frames, flowers, and a little bit of the painting stuff inside. I like both of them. There's a ton in both packs. Um, I think, you know, this one goes sort of one path and this goes another. This is very red, lots of blues and yellows over here. It would be almost impossible to use all of these. You'd really have to work hard at it. So my recommendation is you would pick one or the other um, of these ephemera packs. And again, I can't tell how many are in here. The difference from the chipboard is these are not quite as thick and the chipboard does not have adhesive. These do have adhesive backs, both of these. So look for the ephemera poppy and then just the ephemera for sunflower art and you'll find these. If you run into an out-of-stock condition, we're going to reorder. This is pretty popular. Um, that concludes that collection, which is, let me say again, Sunflower Art from Stamparia. Now, the next one is Around the World. I love travel. Um, this one... Oh, I'm going to go back over this because there was so much with the last one. So we have the 12 by 12 pack, the 8 by 8 pack. Chipboard die cuts, the two ephemeras which have adhesive on the back. Oh, I missed my... Oh, there's more. There's more. Wooden shapes. And then we have these two decorative chips too. So these can be used as is. They can be inked or painted. Um, I like all of them. Well, I love the sunflowers. So um, that would be the wooden shapes. We talked about the rice paper. And the um, A4 comes in individual or pack. And then here's the decorative chips. So that's everything in sunflower art. I'm glad I pulled that out because I almost missed two things. In Around the World, we've got the um, 10 sheet 12 by 12, 10 sheet 8 by 8 chipboard, ephemera, wooden shapes, and some rice paper. So let's start by going over the 12 by 12. Oh, nice. Oh, I like it. It's very rustic. Vintage, that's the word I'm looking for. I like it. All of these really easy to use as background papers on 12 by 12 or in an album. Sometimes um, the the sort of feature image is so large it really um, limits what you can do with the page, but these pages are going to be very easy to work with. So that's kind of a large image, but even still, it's probably six inches. Seven. That's about seven inches. So that, that's very workable in a mini album or a 12 by 12. We've got this envelope that you can cut apart and fold. These tickets. I like the notched corners. More postcards. These, these make for great mats for photos in general. I could see a waterfall using these. Or inserts. This could be fun um, depending on how old it is. That old ancient uh, is what I mean. You could like uh, pinpoint your locations. Um, using like gems or um, rhinestones and maybe even draw strings around it would just make it very interesting to look at and then layer on some photos <laughs> that's really pretty okay two wonderful collections from Stamperia so that is 
the 12 by 12, the 8 by 8 is the same, simply a smaller scale. I'm not going to open that. Now we're going to go to the goodies. We've got all these coordinating elements. So the last Stamperia I did, I put um, a wooden face on the cover uh, in the clock. And that's the first time I've used the wooden shapes. I really like them. I used a couple of the smaller elements inside the book as well as on the cover. And I I really like the way it, uh, I liked the texture and dimension that it added to the cover. And given the chance, I would definitely use the wooden shapes in future projects. Um, I could see easily using the plane here. Maybe not the Eiffel Tower, just because of the scale, the clocks for sure, but it really depends on what I decided to do for the cover. So we've got our die cuts, and again, as you can see, it's just loaded. I bet there's 50 die cuts in here. A little bit thicker than the ephemera, and no adhesive back. So these are nice. Um, I like both, um, but... That's a lot to deal with. Um, I tend to lean toward the die cuts just because it's got a little bit more height to it. So it adds just a little bit more dimension. If you're doing 12 by 12 layouts and you're worried about your layout being smooth, um, maybe the adhesive paper cutouts are more for you. And they're different. Um, like this has the Ferris wheel. There's no Ferris wheel in this one. It has the ships. More of the um, transportation items are in this pack. And this looks like more destination stuff. So it's hard to tell because it's close and they don't give us a, a, a picture of all the elements that are inside. But um, in general, I'm very pleased with uh, Stamperia's die cuts. They're easy to use. And like I said, I would choose one pack or the other because otherwise I think you're going to have a lot of overlap. Unless you're doing really detailed and textured cards, um, then you can definitely, you know, you can get dozens of cards out of these packs. And then we've got the wooden shapes, and um, they're nice and dense. You can see how thick they are, but they're very light. Okay, and then the last is I'm going to go over the rice paper. So just as in the previous collection, you can buy them in the collection pack, A4 collection pack, or you can buy them as in the individual sheets. Now, in this case, I don't have the individual sheets wrapped. I, I'm going to pull them out of this package. So that's pretty and this would make a really handsome uh, stacks, uh, box stacks to put in your library somewhere. Look how pretty that is. Okay. Nice. Very vintage looking. There's the carousel. Not carousel. I forget. You guys will tell me. Carousel goes around, not up and down. Letters, and then this beautiful map. Okay, so that is Around the World from Stamperia. So the previous, I'll pull in both the 12 by 12 so you can get a look at the covers again. That is Around the World. And Sunflower Art, the two latest collections from Stamperia in stock, shipping now. If you come to the site in the next couple of days, you see anything out of stock, we're already reordering both the Graphic 45 and the Stamperia collections. So they'll be back in stock shortly. Just click the notify me when back in stock and uh, you'll get a chance to grab these collections. They're both very beautiful. Thanks for tuning in and sharing some time with me here at Scrap and Create. And um, yeah, pop on over to the site and take a look at these collections. And like I said, if it's not in stock right at the moment, we'll be getting um, another shipment midweek uh, next week, which is after the 4th of July. So thanks again. This is Daphne from Scrap, Re Scrap and Create. I'll see you guys soon. I'm working on Cosmos Infinity right now. So the next time uh, you join me on the channel, um, it'll be looking at some of the Cosmos pages uh, for my next release. Thanks again. See you later.